in Montana. Just met up with Trent today. And we got a call from Josh Keller and he killed the bull. So what are we doing? We're going to help him back it out. Trent had a day off. We're gonna kind of unwind. Sitting there watching the football game and text or call comes in. I just watched the bull to go down. I'm like, you shot it? Yep. Is it dead? Yep, he's kicking right now. Oh, he's dead. Just like that. So, a little hour and a half drive. Got our packs, got our boots. Right now it's kind of cloudy, sunny, 55 degrees. But there's fresh snow, so we'll be up in the snow. And uh, we're gonna go pack out a bowl. So, I'm pretty stoked about it. I've been on the sidelines for the last uh, two weeks. First day back on the hunt, we're going to pack some meat. YouTube world. <laughs> on the other hand, I'm actually more excited because it was like, I come off this hunting, 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 hunting every single day. I come to town. It was so weird last night. I had my first shower in like 30 days or something. It was weird seeing people. It was weird. I don't know. It was just different. The call came through. Hey, uh, Trent, Cody, uh, just shot a bull. So I am stoked as all get out. I am super jacked for Josh. Uh, he's been working his butt off all season. Just as, you know, bow hunting is that game of inches. It's the game of just, oh man, if he just stepped behind that tree or if I would have just maybe cow called instead of bugled or it's just that way. I am super excited for Josh. He's been working his butt off. Ty's gone. Ty's on a hunt with Brandy Newberg right now. So Josh is solo. So it's just like, this is this is pretty epic and i'm more than elated to go up there and 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 help him back it out so this is what we're gonna do so we're headed we're headed to the top of the mountains i don't know how far what are we thinking hour yeah i think about an hour about an hour out so this will be good this will be good guys Josh's friend Rex is going to join us on this trip. So we stopped at a gas station. Uh, so that's the plan now. We're going to make some space for Rex and he is going to come with. We're going to work up some secret handshakes, maybe some low grunts and head nods and stuff to be all on the same page here. But uh, that's what's going on. Uh, I can't tell you how jacked I am for Josh. He killed a bull. That's pretty big, especially like hunting solo. So you've been watching us on this whole journey trying to kill these bulls doing it solo on public ground it's not easy guys it's 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 a pretty big feat but at the same time it can be done anybody can do this any anybody can get out there and do this this is late this is what the october 8th yep i mean yeah our season in oregon is already shut down we're all two we're, weeks we're, yeah we're all done elk hunting and in montana they're still elk hunting here and they're going out josh went out today and did it with a bow and arrow and shot a bull so that's about as awesome as it gets anybody can do this guys that's what i'm trying to tell anybody can anybody can do this just get out and go and try this i guarantee you if you do or don't kill a bull elk you will learn a bunch and you'll be out in god's creation it's it's awesome it's awesome so we're gonna go pack this thing out i'm so excited to see josh i haven't seen josh and shoot uh probably five six months or so it's been a long time so and it's just so crazy that it all turned out to where you know hey we're in uh we're in montana hey i just killed a bull okay well, where are you at oh well you're close enough so we're an hour and a half away from him and we're like hey we're coming to help you we're gonna go help him pack this thing out it's 
already working up to be an awesome day on my day off of this trip. I am so jacked to be able to go and do this. It's it's pretty cool. Okay, guys, we just picked up a uh, hitchhiker hitchhiker off the road. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself and tell your credentials, please. Uh, my name is Rex Wolferman. I'm from Missoula, friends of Josh and Ty. Uh, Josh woke me up from a nap I hunted this morning, and I got a call from him, and I was all grumpy, answered the phone. And he's like, hey, I got a bull down. And I'm just like, uh, where? And he tells me, and I'm like, awesome. Honestly, I can't be even, can't even tell you how stoked I am for him. Throw my boots back on. Well, I actually went home and grabbed a dry pair of boots. Met up with these guys. <laughs> Once we find Josh and he's sitting on that hopefully quartered up, if not boned out bowl, it's going to be a party because, we, man, he is, he is just grinded all season. And if there's a more deserving person to stick a public land bowl, it's him right now. I, I'm just way stoked for him. I can't wait to go see him when, when we get up to him. But we got about two miles on a trail in the wilderness area, so I'm not going to speak too soon. I'm probably going to be kind of annoyed <laughs> by the time I get to him. <laughs> A little bit. We haven't Josh started said, yet. What, what Josh say? Oh, it's just a little ways up there. Yeah. Not bad. Um, I think he called me at 3. It's 5.44. I think we left town at about 4. So it's a little bit further than just a little ways. Um, at one point, I saw a sign when I thought we were way up here, and it still said 12 miles. So... Turns out everything is bigger in Montana, it seems like. So, Rex, any words? Didn't think so. All right. We're still on our way. We're going to uh, meet up, hopefully, with Josh within the next, what, half hour? Two hours. We got a hike in. Yeah. yeah. Hour and a half. Hour and a half? Rex? Hour and a half. All right. Get to them right at dark. Right at dark. Pack out the elk. Things are going to be awesome. 34 we, degrees. 34 degrees. It may be a puffy show. Welcome to Montana. It's a dry cold, they said. Coming from the rainforest jungle. We're here. <laughs> Christmas is right down the corner. Christmas is right around the corner. This is, my, this is my luck in Montana, honestly. This is what it is. This is every single day that I've been here. It's been like, hey Trent, how's it going? We're gonna just dump snow on you. So it's been pretty cool, but we made it to the trailhead. Rex, what do you have to say? That's what um, I thought. And we're gonna go right down this trailhead. We're gonna go uh, pick up Josh's bull and pack that thing out. All right, you hole. can talk. <laughs> You're picking up hole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. My bad, so look, we're on here. Yeah. And we need to be on, he's in here. Okay. So there's another trailhead just right up there. Up the ridge. <laughs> Don't look at my waypoints. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> People are gonna screenshot the yeah. footage and zoom in. Yeah. Okay. It seems like they make you earn every single one of them. Uh, I just can't wait to get to Josh. See that grin on his face. It's gonna be the Josh grin. I guarantee you that's gonna happen in, I don't know, another mile? Something like that? I'll check real quick. Good. On it? On it. Onyx? That's not We're, how you pronounce it. We're Onyx? Trent, Trent just informed me it's a balmy, <laughs> balmy temperature right now. I'm in. Little sawtooth hybrid jacket, gloves, Laring guy. hood, Laring guy. and Trent's in a t-shirt. <laughs> that might be your spirit animal right there, Rex. Mine's a monkey, but All right. it is a monkey. I'll show you here in a little bit. Oh boy. Yeah. Spirit animal, monkey. Go for it. Oh, I can't do it with my pack on. Hang tight. <laughs> We're getting into this. This gets better. I, I have a feeling. Like a thing. Like okay, okay. Here we go. <laughs> I just like look a lot like a monkey. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, like... it, it's. Spot on. I, I mean, there's not a lot to say. It's spot on. Wow. I'm glad we got to experience that together. Okay, yeah. so we're still hiking after uh, watching the monkey rendition from Rex, which was pretty much spot on. We've got, uh, I don't know, we're looking at right over maybe in that draw, right over there. Hopefully, we're about 
I would say mile and a half maybe in already. Hopefully we see Josh here shortly. I would imagine it's because it's been a few hours. He should have the bull already taken care of and should have everything all ready for us to just throw meat on pack is what we're hoping. Still hiking. It's gonna be dark on the way out of this thing. We're having fun? Oh yeah, just uh, four days ago, had a vasectomy, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was waiting for that to come out, yes! <laughs> No heavy lifting for Cody. I can carry weight, I don't, I think. But can he? We'll tell you tomorrow. We'll film it all. So we keep saying Josh. Well, Josh, for you guys who have not watched the video of 10 yard frontal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 10 yard frontal. Josh shoots a bull. It was like, I think his second bull maybe that he killed. He started bow hunting. Anyways, it's Ty's son-in-law. Started bow hunting. We've seen him come from fresh newbie to experienced, really good bow hunter. It's pretty cool to see him come to where he is, but he used to live in Oregon with us. Now he lives in Montana, so we don't get to see him that much anymore, but definitely one of our bow hunting brothers that we've spent a lot of time in the woods, a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. He's a character for sure, so can't wait to get up there and see his bull. He comes in here by himself solo and shoots this bull. Talks, calls us, actually has cell phone receptions because we're way up on top of a mountain. He's like, oh, I can get it, guys. We're like, no, dude. We would so much rather come in here and help you out with this and, and actually enjoy it with him. And so He was going to do this all solo, all by himself. It's pretty awesome that you can just go down, buy a tag over the counter, come out here in your own land and, and shoot something and pack it out and have meat for the whole year. So this is pretty cool. This is, this is pretty neat. Let's go find him before it gets dark. Let's do it. We've got... <laughs> We could hear Josh. <laughs> I bet you he's thinking, thank goodness. <laughs> What's thank up? You thank you, work, guys. Dude. Thanks. <laughs> I love you, bud. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Up, hey. Thank you. That's crazy you guys are here. Oh, it's yeah. the first time I got to see you in how long? And it's around a carcass. Imagine that. Imagine that is so weird. <laughs> since BHA rendezvous. Yeah, right? rendezvous. That's Beth. Oh, yeah, sharp. Yeah. Yeah, it's got an edge on it. Congrats, bud. Thanks. Was he dead there? Uh, yeah, he died right there. I shot him. See the that tree that meat's hanging on? Yeah. Walk five yards still on that tree. That's where I shot him at. He was standing there and I just smoked him. He kind of humped up and ran towards Dude, about right there and yeah, not very far and then i shot him again of just, course you did i figured i'd re-smoke him good <laughs> re-smoke re him. him he's fully smoked and, and so here cool. comes another one just like what's going on over here there's a giant up there oh is there roaring really roaring like i haven't seen him did you guys see any tracks on the way in uh -uh. there's a track that's like <clears throat> biggest elk track i've seen all season and he's just a dragon up there Tonight. Yeah, he was the only one that bugled on. I just happened to catch movement. I'm like, this guy was trucking in. Because I got him to bugle and I started hitting the cow calls. Because I knew there was a bunch of elk in there. It's awesome. He came up out of the bottom? Or up uh, the up off the top. There's more elk in the bottom. A cat had chased a, a small herd all the way to the bottom. Really? I had just given up. Because I'm like, I'd been fighting with this cat. This cat was on these elk all day. Oh, really? And I was, finally they took off down there. And I'm Pull like. Pull thing in, kill it. I'm like going down there, and then about that time, I was like, I bugled and the freaking bull torched off up there. I'm like, Daddy's home. The big one. Yeah, there's a big track yeah. running with those. Heck yeah. It's a dude, I'm track. so freaking happy right. for you. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Let's pack it's... some meat, boys. I'm tired. <laughs> I bet. Got her. Yep. Oh, look at that. <laughs> We're getting close here, guys. We uh, got all the meat already hacked off the carcass. We got Josh with um, hopefully the heaviest load. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. What do you got? I don't know, a couple pounds. We got Rex over here. I'm gonna take this front shoulder. Not bad for a hitchhiker, really. Yep. All right, Josh, you ready for this? Yes. One, hang on, let me find a good strap to hang on to on this. Try One, it. two, three. All right. I grunted like I lifted that. 
Yeah, it was good though. You guys like that? Got her? I like the blue tarp. It's like... <laughs> I like seeing bones. Dude, you look freaking like you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, he My does. blue tarp, man. Dang. That's what I lay my meat on when I'm by myself breaking bulls Heck down. Heck yeah. <laughs> breaking bulls down. Just smashing bulls. Uh, so we're just about loaded up here. Josh has oh. got the big bone. Sorry. What do we got about two miles maybe? I think no? so. Something like that. I think it's about two miles, Josh, isn't it? Yeah. I round up either way. 1.67 okay. as the crow flies. Six, six miles, six and a half miles. <laughs> One. So. See that right there? That was the kill arrow. I love that kill the arrow. The first one. And then the second one, you know. You break it. Eh. All right, where you want me? Just go over on this side, over around me here. And then we'll just kind of swing it on. I'd grab one of those straps. Okay. Ready? Yep. Set, go. Oh, that didn't move like I thought it would. Go. Ugh. Okay, we're moving. Now we're moving. <laughs> All right. Where's that gorilla? We're at Rex. We got the... Uh, the monkey on the trail on the way in. <laughs> we did get the monkey. What's the monkey? Oh, oh, you've never seen the monkey? You need to see Rex's monkey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Not that many people know about that. Not that many people know about well, that. <laughs> YouTube is about to know. Yeah. That's what is the monkey? A lot of people. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Well, it's a uh, quarter to eight. We're making our way back out. We got back on the trail. It's actually pretty smooth sailing right now. We got uh, Rex and J-Bone out the trail there. And uh, it's actually a pretty good pack out. All that we had, I mean, it was a steep incline on the way up in here, but it's been pretty good. Snow, it's only about, what, four inches maybe or something like that, so it's not too bad. But. We're halfway through, I'd say, wouldn't you? Close, yeah. Yeah, probably about halfway. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna keep on, keep it on, and uh, it's awesome being able to help a buddy out and being able to see these guys, and and uh, it's been it's been a blast. So we'll just trek on, keep on keeping on. It's cold. It's cold. got some shit nip to the air. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. So, but we're making her one step at a time. I think ever should be cool. If it didn't have to be cool. Nice work, Josh. Couldn't have got this thing out here without all of you. Good job. Thank good you. job. Good job. And you knew uh, where I was at, dude. Thank you so much. I would. Is... I was like, oh yeah, I got this. And then when we got up here, I would. There was no way I could have found this. I knew you yeah. wouldn't have. That's why. I was like, I, I didn't took know him where... wrong for a second, but I can't believe Rex had been up here. Easy Ooh. lightning. It's fine. It's just a Tacoma. Tacoma. <laughs> I was stoked the minute you called, and I'm stoked now. Yeah. This was an awesome pack out. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a fun pack out. It yeah, was so it was. Fun. So fun. It was fun. This is the brotherhood, guys. This is this when... would this would have been my first trip. <laughs> this would have been. Yeah, that would have been a long. Tomorrow. Yeah, you'd have been sleeping in your pickup tonight. Yeah, yeah, that'd have been a rough one. Instead, this work probably would have lost. Hey, we're, we're here, we're... guys. This has been awesome. Just another day in Montana, I guess, is what you call it. <laughs> yeah, look at the snow. I mean, there's snow on the ground. And this, is, this is the Montana. Uh, let's do it. The Montana Bull. <laughs> tagged out. Pack, dude. You earned yeah. it. Drop that off, bud. Guys, hunting in, in our eyes actually is just people, it's helping each other and it's not always about killing something, it's about the, the group involvement and the, the guys that, that make all the, it happens where you get the shot. So today Rex dropped everything he was doing and came up and helped out Josh. You probably, he probably owed you one. I think I owe him a couple more. <laughs> well, honest, I'm just happy to be here. I, uh, I've been involved with three specific hunts that stick out in my mind in the past two seasons and they kind of overshadow even my own hunts. Like I love being involved with guys that truly deserve the success that's given to them. And I just, I don't know, I just love being a part of it. But it just kind of moved me and Cody just, I mean, a guy just drops everything and it's pretty cool. What's your, what's your Instagram? What is, what is that? Rex K Wolf. Rex K Wolf? Yep, that's Go. my name, Rex Wolferman. It's my full name, Rex K Wolf. Go my... follow this guy, guys. I mean, he's, he's got some rad stuff. Yeah, Stick it's, bow he's, this year. yeah, he's got some awesome stuff on there. And as always, shooting the bull. Yeah. You know, Josh. Solo hunt, my partner's hunting with Randy Newberg. Yeah, he's, spoiled he's rotten. Way cooler than I am. Spoiled rotten. 
go follow these guys guys if you if you have not yet followed them which i'm sure a lot of you guys have but check them out pretty good dudes happy 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 new year <laughs> sorry oh it's cold actually i'm pretty warm we got long guns on i do not <laughs> I do not. I just uh, went for a quick little duck hunt this morning. Trevor goose hunt. Well, no, no, no. It was a duck hunt, sidebar, some goose decoys, turned into a goose shoot. Got two. Two. Yep. Right. How many of them were in the herd? Five in that flock. I went three and oh. May have muzzle blasted it just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little half, bit. Three and a half inch or about right here. It was a little loud. Um, Trevor shot at a duck, shot at some geese. We doubled up on one, maybe, on another pair. We'll I don't it. know. We all three maybe shot, shot the same bird. We'll take so, it. So, stay tuned for that. It's going to be some fun stuff. Did you get some good footage? Oh, yeah. Was it good? Oh, yeah. It was, I think, pretty good. Cool. Cool. All right, guys. So, what this is, is we're just going to... Land of the Free, it's not over, over. Yet. It's the encore. It's the encore. So, we did it all the way through Phelps, and we hunted with all those teams, and then we had an extra time afterwards to um, what, about three days? Yeah, like that? so I, I, I made the trek back out to Montana. I think I left like October 9th and met you there mm -hmm. in Missoula. Yep. And so we had the 10th, 11th, and 12th. To hunt with the Onyx guys. Yep. And in that time, when we were getting ready to hunt with the Onyx guys, we get this phone call, which was the hunt that you just watched. So, pretty, yeah, it was pretty awesome. special. I mean, was there was nothing cool. else to do, and Josh calls, is like, I just killed a bull. I'm like, is he dead? Uh, hold on. Yep, he's, yep, he just kicked, he's dead. He's dead. It's like, all right, we will be there. We are on our way. And Josh, just for the just for the record, oh, it's just an hour long, you know, you're just right up in the hill. Yeah, it's just behind my house up, took, up there. Those roads took forever to go up. Luckily, yeah, yeah his buddy Luckily Rex, had Rex with us. met us, and because there's no way I would have found him. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, you just wind up. Well, it was like 14 switchbacks it was later, long and another canyon, and another ridge. It and, was amazing we found him, though. We did. Rex helped us out a bunch on that. It was but. pretty awesome to roll in and uh, pack out a bull. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So you got to see that. Um, and then we're going to do a little series, right? Yeah. We want to do a little day-by-day -day series maybe. Like uh, tomorrow we'll do some Onyx stuff. We meet up with the Onyx team and get to go hunt with, uh, with those guys. Yeah. So Eric, Zach, and Andrew, it's going to be a good time there. See if we can't figure out these late. It's not like September prime time, I will say. No. No, not not prime time. No, it's October cold time. That's yeah, what it is. It yeah, is. I think that first night was like well, I mean, warmed up to, for you, but it was like it was twenty cold. degrees, slept under the stars. Yeah, a little it frosty. Cold. It was cold. So frost on the pumpkins. But morning. we've got to we got to finish this thing out. Uh, we're just going to show you guys the day by day, just like we've been doing through the land of the free project. So hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.